तो उनके विषय तो उन विषय विषय से उन चीजों को लाया विषय से उन चीजों को सेल और विषय से उन चीजों को बहुत ज्यादा इस्तेमाल इसे में वन और लगे सिर्फ से विषय से موسیقی Today could be your day of salvation. You know why? Because Jesus is the Lord's name, the Lord of time, and He's coming back once again to reclaim the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Am I right about it? Yeah. That's what Jesus is to me, and that's what Jesus is still in you. The ultimate land claim to die for your sin, your sin, and everybody else's sin on this under my voice. Amen. So God came on this, that while we were still sinners, Jesus died, put it on the cross for us. While we were yet sinners. Amen. How much love is that? How much love is that? Jesus died on Calvary to save a wreck like you and me. That's love. That's love. He hung his head and he died. That's my name. He died. Amen. Amen. They stretched him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head. For me, he died. That's love. That's love. Amen. That's the ultimate love right there. When a man gives up his life for you. Amen. Amen. No greater love than Jesus. No greater love. Amen. The man next to Jesus on the left said to Jesus, You are the Son of God. You can call all your angels and they will rescue, they will save you. They will rescue you. Do you not think that Jesus could have 10,000 reasons to thank us? To rescue him off that cross? He wasn't doing his will. He was doing his father's will. He was doing his father's will. He was fulfilling prophecy. And the man on the right side, the right hand of Jesus, said to Jesus, Savior, remember me when you enter your kingdom. When you enter into your kingdom. And Jesus said, Very, very, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Oh, oh, do you know what that means? A dying man on his deathbed asked for Jesus and he got saved. You know why he got saved? I'm going to tell you why he got saved. Because he was still breathing. <laughs> yeah. You got to be breathing. You got to be living to come to Jesus. He will send you nothing for you if you're dead in the grave. He said the God of the living, not a God of the dead. Amen. You got to come to Jesus today while your knees can still be. 
I am not to still sing and pray this, and I am here to still hear it. Am I right about it? Yeah. Doesn't matter how old you are, it doesn't matter how young you are, it doesn't matter your income, it doesn't matter your lifestyle. What does matter is that you come to Jesus. And He will forgive you for all of your sins, wipe you clean, make you whole, make you complete, and you can talk to the enemy head every day with your feet. Aha! Like me and my sister right here do every day. Amen. We got that power and we got the authority. Because Jesus said, With me, you are conquerors. No, he said, He didn't say conquerors. He said, you are above a conqueror. Above a conqueror. Oh! If you are above a conqueror, that means conquerors can conquer you. <laughs> you are above them. You got more power and authority over them. Jesus said, I rose from the dead, and so shall you. Oh! Oh, do you know what that means? That means when you have this Jesus, even if the Holy Spirit is hit by, by a bullet today, a say, hit by a truck, guess what? I'm going to rise again to be with Jesus. Oh! Oh, Holy Spirit, help me now. Holy Spirit, I feel you now. Amen. Jesus said, I have overcome death, and so shall you. Oh, you are overcome, you have overcome death. Good Holy Oh, death, where is your sting? Oh, death, where is your sting? You overcome death. Yes. Amen. This is why the blood of Jesus is so precious to all of us right now. Because it's only through Him that we can have salvation. And it's only through Him that we can know God the Father. Because God it. God for it. Those that know my son shall have everlasting life. Those that know not my son are already condemned. Yes, you're a dead man walking right now. You're a dead man walking. Amen. Jesus said, I am the word, I am the truth, and I am the life. You must come to me to get to know the Father. You must come to me. If a no one comes to the Father except through me, no one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, he's the mediator for you, between you and God. The mediator, you know what a mediator is? It's the guy in between. Okay, let's tell you, let's give you a good, good example. Your boss wants to give you a raise, but instead of telling you to come to the office, he tells your supervisor. Your supervisor comes to you and says, Your boss wants to see you. The boss wants to see you in the office right now. Start what you're doing. The supervisor wants to mediate it. He's mediating for the boss. That's what a mediator is. He's mediating. He's coming in between and doing things, telling you what you must do. To go and see you where you've got to go. Amen. He's the mediator. Jesus is not only your mediator, he's your counselor. He's your comforter. He's your redeemer. He's your rock. He's your best friend. And then son. Because he'll redeem you. And he'll comfort you. And he bear there for you when you need him. And then, and he loves you for who you are. Unconditional love. Amen. And he will never forsake you. Amen. 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 I'm going to pass the mic over to my sister in Christ right now. 
Se van a ¿Cómo lo haces? By the way, we are a flag ministry. I am Brother Lord. This is Sister John. I'm known as Fire Cracker. One of my podcasts. Because we like the button, you know, every time we do something, you always jump in. Stop! Stop! But that's not me, that's the Holy Spirit doing that. I hope you can shoot straight time when they're going down. So you best repent now. You hear a young man? Repent now. You'll be doing that when Jesus comes, that's for sure. Yes, she says I like to butt in, but you know, that's the Holy Spirit sometimes. But I, I'm also known as firecracker because sometimes I just start a sermon off like Jesus loves you. He wants you to come to him. Today could be your day of salvation! And I just grew up. Am I right about it? Amen. And she is known as Sister Joan, the fire lady. And you don't have to explain to him why you got to he gave you that name. I gave her that name Fire Lady when I first saw her preaching in Columbia Heights. I was a person too at the time. I took him out of the closet. And I saw I heard a noise. I heard somebody preaching. I wanted to I wanted to I wanted to join them. Because that's how I am. Somebody preaching, I must run. And I just looked at him for like an hour. Watched her for an hour and she was preaching. And I said it like to myself, I'm saying, Whoa! This lady's on fire! That's what she got the name from, Fire Lady, because she be on fire. And I'm going to try to know right now. When Fire Lady gets on the mic, all the demons in the vicinity of her voice, they got themselves to the abyss. <laughs> Am I right about it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're not. She's not playing with us. Let's go, let's go. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. Hallelujah. You are worthy. You are worthy of God. You are worthy of our praise. We thank you this afternoon that we said be in the presence of God. Yeah. And in the presence of God, God. In the presence of God, I will be in the presence of God. Just be happy right now. If you are sad, get from every stronghold of the devil. And God again. The God cannot be a man of conqueror. He's a mighty man of Jesus Christ. He's coming to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Judgment time. And as he stands upon the mount 
Allah Taala, dia bersabar. 